Hello, hello everybody. And in my last video, I was telling you guys how I'm going to take this tank down because I bred out way, way, way too many Blue Dream Shrimp. And the last video ended up with me getting ready for one of the tanks because remember, we talked about having some Spider-Man looking shrimp popping up. You know, these Blue Dreams, they get some black patchy spots and then some of these there's a handful of them and out of all these thousands of shrimp where the black patchiness is red instead of black and a lot of people call those spider-man so we're hunting we set up the tank to get those the video ended tearing an old tank down let's see what that one is now the ugly tank on the floor <laughs> It is ready. And we have heater. Temp controller is working. Figured we'll keep these guys warm. Get them breeding out real nice. So this tank is ready for the Spider Man shrimp we hunt out. And then I reset this tank to put the top grades. The perfect shrimp that are in that great big 75 gallon. So we're going to sort out the Spider-Mans. And we're going to sort out the perfects. And the rest. We'll either go in here with the blue velvets. Which is just what I call my little bit lesser not regulated blue dreams. You get blue dreams that are guaranteed to be a certain quality. And these guys are, you know. Most of them are still really good. You end up with a few perfect blue dreams in here. And then some will end up going in the Skittles tank. So not only is this great big 75 gallon tank got all this going on with algae. But we're covered in freaking duckweed. So we're going to, first thing, I'm going to get all the duckweed I can get. Then we're going to rip out the algae. Then we're going to rip out the moss that's full of algae. Then <laughs> we're going to take out the clean moss. And then it's shrimp sorting time. A lot going on in this video. Look how it looks, don't look that bad. <laughs> look how pretty these shrimp are. Now they got some light on them. They're looking pretty stinking good. There's a few more bad ones than I would like, but not really. Man, looks pretty good. Shrimp look pretty good. So we're going to have fun sorting all of these out today. This is what one shot back full of duckweed water and algae looks like. <laughs> Subtracted from this tank. See the filter spray bar it was completely covered in duckweed and gunk and algae. Yeah, not too bad really.
All right. Now you can see the DIY spray bar with the UV put in. <laughs> we got the top part mostly taken care of good enough to start fishing out the algae that's in here. And we're going to take that, get all this algae out of this moss and keep the moss still good. Well, we've got her all stripped down. And let's take a look and just see how many shrimp are in here. Look at that, all the way to the back. That's all, every inch is covered in shrimp. 75 gallon tank so now i'm gonna let's see if we can get the calm down let it settle down a little bit and then we can start sorting out the ones we really want to keep out of here okay we got it cleared up a little bit you can see the shrimp's a little better and so what we're going to do now is we're going to there's still lots of really good buried ones too. That's there's more really good ones in here than I thought, and less bad ones than I thought. So that's good. So what we're going to do first of all is put an algae wafer in, get them all gathered up, and then that'll make it easier to find the Spider-Man looking ones. And then we'll start sorting. We'll be catching, we're going to catch all the Spider-Man ones and all the perfect ones. We'll have two buckets, one for each. And then after we get all the ones that I want to keep, then I'm going to gut everything out of the tank and just start catching everything to put in the blue velvet and the Skittles tanks. But before, I don't want to stir it up too much when we still need to see what we're doing. So that's why I left the rocks in and stuff like that. All right, let's get this started. This will be fun. Well, I've been picking shrimp all afternoon. So these are the ones that are left. These will all be going in the blue velvet or Skittles tank. These are the ones I picked as super, super high grades. We're going in that one project tank. And... These are the ones that are kind of Spider-Man-ish. <laughs> a lot of them are just like kind of weird, different looking reallys that, like I said, the black almost looks kind of, let's see. It's like the really pattern is really deep and dark. And the head is kind of reddish. The tail too. The red is more pronounced on a handful of them, but it may not be anything. But I thought these were cool shrimp popping up. And I figured I'd give it a try. Another fun project to try. Play around with shrimp with. So I think we're going to get the rest of these out of here tomorrow. Because I got to get 
ready to ship for tomorrow morning before I go to bed tonight. So we're going to get the shrimp in their tank and the shrimp in their tank. Let's go do that. Then we'll be back tomorrow to finish this. Ready? Mm -hmm. There goes all the best ones that are in that 75 gallon tank. Well, that was exciting. Yeah, there's a couple of them that are almost all red. So, I'm not just crazy. I was really seeing red on them. Alright, let's let these guys go. <laughs> Got them all. Spider-Man shrimp. <laughs> yeah. I think it's kind of cloudy from doing a sponge squeeze, but then they're all wigging out and exploring their new place. Anyway, so we can't really see them too much, but we'll deal with the rest of those shrimp in that tank tomorrow. These are pretty cool. Well, and here we are to the next day, and you can actually kind of see what's going on in the back there. It's like, well, I spent all day yesterday picking shrimp out of this tank, and this is what's left. I was just giving it another quick look. I saw... Another Spider-Man I picked out. But, and there's still a handful of really, really perfect ones. And then really the overall grade is really good. There's just, there's some that were, I remember back when I was still calling this tank every month. I was pulling out black ones and it goes so dark. And you get like these carbon really looking ones like that. That's overall. These are really, really good still. It was the first like eight months I had this up. I was on it. <laughs> And I slowly realized, man, too many blue dream shrimp. But for that, being let go for a couple generations too long, and so that's still pretty good. Pretty stinking good. And this tank was started when I did a sponge squeeze. And filled to seed the tank, I had clouds of little baby blue shrimp. So just random shrimp out of my regular 40 gallon. Pretty good shrimpies. Don't even look like I made a dent in the overall numbers. I probably pulled out about 400 really, really super high grades and probably like 20 or 30 the Spider-Man looking ones. 
want even a dance. Made a lot of progress, but the first 90% take less than 10% of the time to catch, and the last 10% end up taking me hours, I'm sure. But, while well, we got this many shrimp, there's so many in there, it's turned the bottom of the bucket blue. So we got this many shrimp in here, and it's going to take a while to get the rest. We'll go ahead and put these in the blue velvets. Going in the blue velvet. So <laughs> this is probably going to be the biggest single drop of shrimp ever on my channel. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, man. So if you're looking for some mixed grade <laughs> Blue Dream Shrimp for cheap, I will have a ton of these. They'll be the same thing as the Blue Velvets, but I'll make some kind of sell on them. You guys want to help me get rid of these shrimp at my website, MarkShellyAquatics.com. Oh, man, let's get these guys out. And there she is, a fully reset tank. It's going to be, might be a week or two before we get this thing up and running because I got a lot of things I got to do because I got some plans. And the next video might actually be about doing something for this. So it'll be a, a week or so before we actually have it up and running. So stay tuned and find out what kind of a shrimp tank this great big 75 gallon is going to be and what kind of crazy ideas I come up with on this one <laughs> thank you guys for watching bye